More than 10,000 acres of Southern California consumed by the mountain fire. The area's high winds creating a red flag blaze so aggressive there is no accurate number of damaged and destroyed structures because conditions are too unsafe for inspection teams to assess. ABC's Melissa Adan joins us now. Juju, we're here in Ventura County. This is where the mountain fire is moving so rapid, incredibly fast. It is taking over homes. We see those flames and those embers coming over because the speed of these winds are just so powerful. But right now, there are reports of several homes that have been burned, destroyed that we're seeing. But the count right now is just the fire response, making sure that they can save all that they can of property and having these mandatory evacuations underway across Ventura County. Tonight, multiple homes in flames in Southern California, a wildfire emergency fueled by howling Santa Ana winds. Right now, there's absolutely no containment on this. It is burning out of control. In Ventura County, the mountain fire burning nearly 9,000 acres in just four and a half hours. I texted my husband about 8.55 and I said, I smell smoke and it, smells, it seems close. And I went outside and I saw all the black smoke coming. So we just started getting our animals, and within 30 minutes, it was already coming over the hill. We're going to have numerous fatalities in here if we don't have companies engaged. Do what you need to do to save lives. Sheriff's deputies racing door to door, rescuing trapped elderly residents in wheelchairs. Just south of there, the broad fire in Malibu, starting in dry brush, quickly jumping to homes. Probably close to 50 mile an hour gusts, and it makes it nearly impossible to save a home once it starts on fire in conditions like these. Authorities shutting the Pacific Coast Highway in both directions as fire crews assaulted the fire from the ground. Choppers dropping water right on top of them. The fire burning all the way to the Pacific Ocean. This home completely destroyed. Tornadoes tearing through Oklahoma, carving a path of destruction. Heavy winds and rain decimating neighborhoods this morning, flipping cars and leaving tens of thousands without power. We have a lot of flooded areas still in these neighborhoods. The area is still deemed very dangerous. The National Weather Service confirming at least five preliminary tornadoes across Oklahoma, Texas, and New Mexico. State officials reporting some residents were rescued from the rubble and at least 11 people were taken to hospitals with injuries. There have been no reported deaths. This is one of the areas with the worst damage. You can see vehicles slamming into these homes, total destruction here, and even a transmission tower falling onto that house. Even the pictures that was up here. In Oklahoma there. City, Tamara Bye. Shaver and her family say they're lucky to be alive today after most of their home was wrecked. So you walked into this hallway and this is where you were. My dad was standing right here and I was crouched down on my hands and knees down you? here. Across the street, their neighbor Anthony Manzana says he was able to run into his bathroom just in time. I Luckily, I was off the bed. I was like right at the door right when everything just fell apart. I just got blasted straight into the wall. Oh, there we go. Tonight, residents bracing for more possible tornadoes, high winds and severe weather overnight. Guad Venegas, NBC News, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Well, Greg Harris captured this video on his ring camera as a tornado rolled through Little Flock. Now, this is yesterday when those storms came through with strong winds throwing around trash cans and debris around that neighborhood and down the street. Oh, my gosh. And this is video from 5 News viewer Josh Lane and Little Flock as well. Debris spinning up in the air from this tornado. You can see that he actually then headed out to check on his neighbors and took these photos off of Cotswold Lane and says that he found damage to homes there in the Dixieland Crossing subdivision. Now, while no injuries were reported from this tornado and these storms, it did cause damage to some homes and buildings. Let's head out to 5 News anchor Tiffany Lee joining us live now in Little Flock with what's going on there. Good morning. Good morning, Joe. We are here on North 13th Street in Little Flock, where you can see this is some of the aftermath of that powerful storm that went through the area. Now that the sun is up, you can really see the damage that it did here. Absolutely devastating, but the good thing is, is no one was hurt in this. Now, what's so crazy about this is we are far from the house, as you can see, hundreds of feet, and we found this brick on the ground out here, 
and it looks like even some bubbles that were probably inside for kids in the house and there's other things throughout the yard as well that looks like flew from that house so just goes to show you how powerful this was we're taking a look at it right now there is glass that shattered there's insulation there's hvac that's twisted in the roof this truly was powerful but we will keep you updated throughout the morning as we learn more, but it looks like we see crews going around right now. It looks like some electric crews, some emergency responders that are starting to come out and assess the damage now that it is light outside. So again, we will keep you updated. Back to you. Spain has yet again been hammered by torrential rain only six days after its devastating floods. A red alert was issued, but residents say the warnings came too late again. The death toll from flooding in Valencia is at 217 and climbing, with dozens still unaccounted for. Rescuers stir a swirling soup of debris, death and despair for any sign of survivors. But with the floodwaters draining, so is hope. All we can do is file a missing persons report and give a DNA sampling, Maria Maguire explains. Her dad is missing. Like many others, when the rain started, he went to move his motorbike from the garage. In the sunken car parks below Valencia, authorities fear more bodies will be found. Drones are being sent in where rescuers can't reach. This is a very important task, police say. 217 are confirmed dead. Renee Turner's parents among them. My parents would not have been out with that alert. We are so angry at the slackness of the Spanish authorities. Such is the anger still rippling here. It fueled residents to hurl insults and mud at the royal family when they visited. They're frustrated they weren't better warned, but as rain falls now in Barcelona, it appears the teachings from last week's disaster are still not learned. We didn't see this coming, this woman says. When I arrived at the airport, the underground parking was flooded. Dozens of flights have been cancelled. For the entire region, a red alert has been issued. With the threat, more rain could still come. All right, Shalom. I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers living worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the whole family. Believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yeah, this is your brother Dawada coming to you another lesson. Lord willing, is that a fine? And just because the election is over, don't mean the prophecies have stopped. To the contrary, man, things are still happening in the planet Earth. And what you've seen <clears throat> at the beginning, there's less than a series of videos I put together, all right, regarding what these people know as so-called natural disasters. But it's your how by shower shot plaguing these people, man. All right, we read in 2nd Ezra 15, the Lord said he's gonna send plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. And what's happening is these certain so-called natural disasters is causing destruction, man. All right, you had this wildfire reach all the way into the coast of, uh, <clears throat> to the Pacific coast, all right? You got uh, another flood going on in Spain, okay? You got tornadoes hitting Oklahoma and this city called Little Flock, <laughs> Little Flock, Arkansas, all right? So, yeah, prophecies are still going, man, okay? And they're not going to cease. They're not going to die down, all right? This is the judgment of Yahweh by Shabbat Remember, we read in Psalms where the Lord said he's going to beat down his foes. Out of fact, let's start that. All right. Yeah, it's blow after blow after blow, man. It's not going to be any relief. See, those those birth pains. Psalms, chapter 89 and verse 23. 
and I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him, right? So that's what we're witnessing. The Lord is beating down his foes before our face, all right? Now, a simple Google definition of that word plague in the verb form, it means to cause a continual trouble or distress to. So it's not letting up, man. It's causing a continual trouble, a continual distress to, right? And you've seen the anguish and, and hurt <laughs> and distress on these people's face, man. You know? Well, scripture say the Lord is terrible. He's terrible to his doings, matter of fact. What is that? <clears throat> Psalms chapter 66, right? Yeah, Psalm chapter 66, and we're going to start at verse 3. It says, Say unto the Most High, How terrible art thou in thy works, thou, excuse me, through the greatness of thy power, shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. Yeah. So when the Lord <laughs> keep hitting your ass with a with a body shot, you got, you're not going to have a choice but to submit, man. Right? It says, all the earth shall worship thee and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name, Selah. Come and see the works of the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. He, has, he is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. See that? Yeah, the Lord is terrible in his doing to the children of men. Okay, again, these wildfires, these earthquakes, you know, these tempests, these floods, is the Lord visiting this place, plaguing after plague and after plague. And it's not going to die down, it's just going to intensify, man. These things are not going to, going to, uh, going to, um, relent, man, you know. These things are going to increase, you're going to see more wildfires, man. More structures destroyed, more hurricanes. Oh, got a little information, man. More hurricanes, <laughs> you know, more earthquakes. This is from naturalnews.com. Red November hurricane, Raphael, see that? <laughs> What's the odds of that? Raphael buries, excuse me, barrels toward Louisiana coast as category three storm. And this thing could intensify, man. All right? We know that these uh, storms recently they have been going into the Gulf Coast. Before it hit these certain places, they intensify to a Category 5. See that? It says, after making landfall in Cuba as a Category 3 storm this week, Hurricane Rafael, a rare November hurricane, is now heading towards the Louisiana coast through the Gulf of Mexico with the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, right? Predicting a second landfall in the U.S. over the weekend. Like other hurricanes of this magnitude, Raphael <clears throat> is bringing with it life-threatening storm surge. See that? Damaging hurricane force winds, flash flooding, Louisiana would do best to take notice and prepare accordingly. See? Man, that's your high by shot shot all day every day, man. Okay? And again, these things are going to intensify. Now check this out. Alright? Lord willing, we're gonna get that uh matter of fact. Let's go ahead and get it now. Alright, because the Lord is visiting this place, man. All right, second Ezra chapter nine and verse one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then, see that? Well, you're gonna see it. Then, excuse me, it says, <clears throat> which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time 
wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right? It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right? So we're witnessing these things now, man. Recent earthquakes. Check this out. November 5th, Peru, a 5.7, a 5.0 into 1, November 6th, a 5.9 in Fiji, November 6th, and New Guinea, a, a, a 5.9, November 6th, see that, look, a 4.8 on the 5th off the coast of Hawaii, right, you got a, a 4.4 in Greece, See, those earthquakes in diverse places. Lord, where are we going to get that? You even got it in New, in New, New Zealand, man. A 4.3. See, the Lord is visiting the world which he made. Just because this, this, this damn election's over don't mean prophecy is stopping, man. Now things are intensifying. You see? Let's get that. So the Lord is visiting this place with, with storm and tempest, right? With floods. With the earthquake, with the flame of the fire, fire, let's get that. Isaiah, what is that? Chapter 29, I think. <clears throat> Isaiah, yep, chapter 29, and verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts. Yeah, the Lord of armies. Anything and everything is at the disposal of your high by Shabbat Shabbat, man. It says, with thunder and with earthquake, see that? And great noise with storm and tempest. Yeah, those tornadoes, right? Those hurricanes and the flame of devouring fire, right? So now, all those things we've seen in the video is occurring at the same time. All these things are occurring in, in, in the span of the last three days. So things are intensifying. Things are growing in this perfection, man. And you people are not going to be able to get away. All right? What does it say in Jeremiah? The Lord is going to visit you, Edom. Okay? Matter of fact, let's just get it. Um, is that 48? Let me see. Uh, no. 49. It's like Jeremiah. Chapter 49. Yep, and verse 8. Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of the Dan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him the time I will visit him. See? The time that I will visit him. So the Lord is visiting this place. And he's taking the structure away. Alright? Them folks still ain't recovered in North Carolina, man. And they ain't gonna recover. They still recovering dead bodies. As in Spain, that count is above 217 in count. Where well, the Lord is, is, is visiting the Edomites, man. The Lord is pushing disaster on them. Matter of fact, let's read it in the NLT. It says, turn and flee. Hide in deep caves, you people of the Dan. For I will bring disaster on Edom. See that? I will punish you too. So the Lord is punishing you, you Edomites. And Jake is getting caught up in that punishment also, man. Okay? You're not getting away. The Lord is visiting you too. All right? Why? Because of your iniquity. Okay? Let's get this and close it out. Let's go to St. Luke. Chapter 21. And verse 8. And he said, Take heed that she be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and the time draweth near. Go ye, go ye not therefore after them. Yeah, you yeah, had this guy <laughs> saying that he was the savior, you know, and there's been many accounts of that. All right, this is just another, uh, another, uh, what is the word, example. Of, of, of these damn devils saying that they are the savior, man. All right? It says, But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, 
be not terrified for these things must first come to pass but the end is not by and by right the end is not yet these wars that we seen right you got america shooting minute man missiles uh do right before the election and after the election you got uh north korea shooting missiles into the atmosphere all right that are, are predicted to be able to reach to the interiors of the united states man see those wars and rumors of wars right it says then said he unto them nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and great earthquakes it shall be excuse me and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilence and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven amen well right in that time okay these different uh eclipse and blood moons and and uh chariot sightings yeah those fearful signs to the heathen man all right but we know those are indicators that our lord is on the way but again you see those great earthquakes occurring in diverse places man all right and this is part of the visitation of your by shall shall in this place so i pray this been edifying for the all praise honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing, coming at you another lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.